Does your name have anything to do with the uh, wrestling move of the same name? I mean, that's where it came from, but it doesn't mean like we're a you know, wrestling band that sings about stuff like that. I just thought it was too cool of a name to not be used for a band. <laughs> <laughs> anything with the word death in it always is cool for a metal band. For sure. <laughs> what are your major inspirations uh, writing, you know, either lyrically or musically? Um, musically, we're into a lot of like bands that we grew up. I mean, for me, we all have different influences. Like Ryan's into a lot of punk music, and Nick's into like a lot of death Crazy metal stuff. and stuff. <laughs> you know, Ryan and, and me and Ray are pretty much come from the same place, like Pantera, Motorhead, Sabbath. Entombed, and Sabbath, yeah. death and roll type stuff. Cool. But you know, we don't like. I don't like uh, writing about you know the same old blood and guts type stuff that gets lumped in the genre of music we play. But, I don't know. I grew up in the country. A lot of it's based on stuff like that. But, uh, it doesn't seem to be a really specific topic song-wise. It seems to be a lot more vague-ish, but a lot, of, a lot of cool imagery, I guess, in the lyrics he comes up with. It's three in the morning. I can't get to sleep <laughs> How does Choke the River uh, represent the band? I think it was a pretty good representation. I mean, and we wrote that album pretty early on. Um, when we first started, I think we had it written with it four or five months of starting the band, so we've gotten a little bit different since then. There's a bit more uh, rock and roll influence in the newer stuff, like ACDC, Kiss, stuff like that, but obviously kept within the heavy context of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we always seem to have a certain style we go with whenever we write songs. We, whoever brings it in, whether it be me, Nick, or um, even Rick, the, the bassist there, uh, we always sort of filter through our own sort of internal filter, I guess, it sort of always comes out sounding like us, regardless of yeah. who brings in it. What There's it comes nothing out. we can do to change the fact that we're going to sound like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and I don't like deviating too far from the formula, I guess, because to me, when I listen to bands, I don't like listening to a record that is like each song sounds like it's a different band doing it. I don't know, I like keeping it within the realm of what we're doing, pretty groovy based metal stuff. So. Are you working on the follow-up material for that? Yep, we got I think five songs yeah. done five now. Songs done, yeah. It was originally going to be an EP, but the writing just it's started really taking off. So yeah. we're like, let's just keep going and do another full length. So hopefully we'll have that out by the end of the year. Yeah, cool. It's going to be called yeah. Graveyard Dead. So yeah. is this album going to be a lot heavier or you know lighter, it's, or grungier? It's going to be a heavier, but catchier at the same time. Like yeah, we've it's been a lot really more rock and roll. Yeah, we've been influenced by bands like Entombed and. Uh, some of Carcasses or later stuff like Swan Song and stuff like that. Like I say, like some Kiss and Easy Easy, but like put through like a heavy filter. <laughs> yeah. Anything big coming up? Anything you want to add to the interview? Um, we just have reg we have a lot of shows coming up. We're so far we're booked it to the end of the summer. So uh, there's a few that we're really excited about. And unfortunately, we can't say it yet until Booker announces it. But <laughs> yeah, there's some big shows. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a couple of big shows coming up. So. It's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting summer, that's for sure. I can't wait for it. And we're gonna record in between time too, so Wicked. Thanks guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.